everybody, it's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. Hey, I am so excited to do a video tour here with you. I'm actually with my son, Josh. Josh, you wanna show him your beautiful face there? That I'm full of Hi, son, Josh. what's happening, guys? So you got a couple boobs here doing a video tour. So, Josh, what do you think of this place? Well, where are we? We're out in the woods. We are out in the boonies here. Dad blindfolded me on the drive out here, so actually, I have no idea where we are. You know, we can walk and talk here. Oh, we're I just at, want, let me get a... We're at, yeah, kind of give him a panoramic view. We're at 26 Cross Creek Road. Believe it or not, it has a Lock Haven address. But we're actually above Waterville. We're in an area, believe it or not, it's called Springer Corners. Matter of fact, Josh, when you're looking at that way, you're facing west. Mm -hmm. That's where Springer Corners or the Cowder Sport Pike is. All right. So as you're continuing up here, we're more north this direction. It's where the house, of course, sits. Now that direction there, Josh, you're looking more east towards south. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll bring us out towards Waterville. All right. So actually at Waterville where the DCNR has their building, there's a road called Little Pine Bottom. Wait, is it Little Pine? Little Pine. I think it's just Little bottom. Pine Bottom. Yes. Bottom Road. Yes. Because we kept sneaking creek in yeah, there. There's no creek in there. Pine, but creek. Little Pine Bottom. Yeah. But that that'll actually bring you up here. Then you make a quick right on Springer's Road, and then you're here. Then now, can you see that big tree over there with the sign on it, Josh? Yeah. Let me walk a little bit closer. That is That's actually, the spring. It, it says it says Hemlock Spring, so I'm assuming that tree was a hemlock. But that's actually a, a spring, and that's all state game lands over there. So hang the on house, a sec. So this is next to state game lands. Well, in two spots. Woo! Behind you is all state game lands, but actually up on the upper section of this property because you have like four acres here. Um, but the upper section is next to state game lands as well. Oh, that's awesome. You hear that, guy? State game lands. If you yeah. want to be next to state game lands, next to state game lands. You're, you're sandwiched between state game lands. Now, Josh, up here on the mountain, there's a lot of rumors and myths. But one of the rumors up here is that spring water is actually magical or mystical. It actually, a lot of people come up and get their water. They swear by it for longevity, feeling better, uh, better digestion, you can poop better with it. Um, like, it really is that. And of course, look at this little stream here too. We should come up with a nice little name for this stream. What should we call it, Josh? Boob stream. Boob stream. Now we want people to buy this house. Oh, that's a good point. buy a house with boob stream on it then. But, uh, well, maybe this can be just the Pretty magical nice. stream. Maybe this is- This is a cool little bridge here too. So It is a cool bridge. So, um, I mean, it, it seems pretty sturdy. Like, yeah, I walk on it, four wheelers well, maybe, my, your mower, but. My, my fat butt's on here, so it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty <laughs> but solid. But probably just not drive your vehicle no, on I it. I wouldn't but, drive a car on here. But four, you could definitely take four wheelers. Four, four and, wheeler and your ride mower. Sure. Yeah. Or if you got one of those little compact cars that really aren't cars, they're really lawn mowers. Are you riding one of those old man jazzy scooters yet? <laughs> Are you riding, you could you can bring your jazzy on it. Not yet. All right, yeah. where's two? Where do you, how do you want to well, take this? One thing here too, they call the cabin here Hemlock Haven. All right, so maybe we'll call that Hemlock Haven Creek. There I love that name. Just, there we go. And so th this, we really kind of call it the back of the house, even though this is really the, uh, what, you know, looks like the front of the house. Then. And I'll show you what that means here in a minute then. But um, tell you what, Josh, if you don't mind, push pause and we'll take everybody inside here. Be right back, guys. Okay, so here we're, we're back. So now where we're at, Josh, lower level. What do you think of this? So we, we really just walked in that, that sliding glass door there. So we, we were just on the other side of that, if you guys are trying to get your yep. your bearings. So that's the, we crossed over the magical stream there. And fireplace. And the fireplace, it is a working fireplace. True but, wood burner. But Josh, wood burning. we always say if we got a fireplace, what should you do first? Uh, tell Santa you moved. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really good. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. All right, so after you tell Santa, what's the second thing you always do if you have a fireplace? Uh, get, get it cleaned? I don't know where you're well, going with this. Close. What are you doing? Get the, the flu liner checked out by a professional. Yeah. Okay, somebody take a look at that then. But yeah, that's a fireplace. And of course, this will, I'm going to call the family room area down here. <clears throat> because originally here, Josh, this was the basement of a log home only. And as we walk through, I'll show you how that kind of ties together then. So then as we continue on here, we'll take the viewing audience up there in a second. But while we're down here, show you the lower level. So this is where the basement would have stopped originally. So that's where the, the old furnace used to be. Yeah, so this actually, was- you're right there. Those old, the old pipes uh... would have been for a, a furnace here. And they actually could have heated that with the fireplace. Like the, the this goes into that fireplace of so the logs when they were burning would have heated the water. Very but nice. They, they got rid of that. Then, of course, that's where the panel box behind you. So yeah. it has electric. Has electric, yes. And that is, I think, 100 amp. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Yes, 100 amp. 100A. That is 100. 100 amp. Can confirm. So now we're stepping into the addition here, Josh. So big addition was put on. Matter of fact, you can see the remnants of the old. Sure. This would have been the outside of the property at one time. 
I just love that. I mean, the the the, the craftsmanship it takes to build a stone house like that. That is yeah, just yeah. so cool. Well, those Seacrest boys from Jersey Shore, the Masons. Yeah, you put them to their work. Hand? Oh. Their hands are like two of ours. Oh, I sure have. Because they're tough. They actually lift things up and set them down. Those guys are awesome. Yeah, if you need a good Mason. You know, I love seeing boys. those guys, but I hate seeing them because when I see them, i got to shake their hand. Oh, and, crush it. And you did not give me uh, very no, manly no, no, hands. No, no, no. no. Hands. In fact, I'm due for a manicure. Ours are very gentle. Yeah. <laughs> but something I think whoever built this originally had in mind is that maybe this could be converted to additional usable space of sure. because they actually put plumbing underneath the ground here. So these are some drains here. This is actually <coughs> a pit where you could have like a grinder pump so you could send the, um, the sewage and stuff to the- Oh, uh, so you're ready to put a bathroom here if you need to. put a bathroom to, down sure. in here, maybe an extra family room. I suppose you could do a bedroom if you're okay without a bedroom or really right here, this wall is open and exposed. So you could cut out and put a window. Talk about these rafters seat. that you were talking about earlier, these uh, support beams here, I should say. Well, um, the, these are a special made. They're actually um, man-made. They're not just cut from trees, um, but they're actually supposed to be stronger than regular 2x12s. I um, guess it's kind of the idea, remember, do you ever do the trick when you're in elementary school with a toothpick? Sure, yep. If you have a toothpick this way, it'll snap. Snap right away. If you go this way with it, it can hold like 23 pounds or something. Yep. Same thing yep. here. So these are very, very good... Um, building material yeah whoever did this addition definitely definitely did that right that is well done and then uh just so uh the 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 cream colored um yes. that washer the, that the, stays the, 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 the white, white ones are washer gone dryers are not included yep. but the cream colored washer is hot water, water heater hot water heater oil um tank now tell us about this furnace because I, I i know this is a little bit different than your this, <laughs> you know why we can't have a a lot of conversations around the, the this. The only time he pauses no, and he's not exactly. talking is because he's thinking of a joke. Do, do, I know do, it. Do you know why you shouldn't do a lot of talking around a furnace? Uh, oh, I feel like you've told me this one. Tell me again. Tell me again. Because conversations can get heated. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, what we got here, Josh, This it's an oil furnace. So just a regular traditional oil furnace. But right here, you can actually burn wood. So it's actually what Very they call nice. a multi-fuel. Um, so you could use wood. I was told you can't do coal, coal but you can do... <laughs> wood. Man, where are you going to find wood out here in these woods? I don't you know, know. I don't know. Keep they're, looking. They're, they're lifetime supply out there. Now, this is the spring pump. This does not have a well currently. It has a spring. The spring is across the street. Um, they have some legal rights to all that, but that's this is the pump that brings the water into the house. And then that's an exterior door. And that's... You know, that's and, the basement. And, yep. and it's tall down here. Like I'm, It really is. I'm, I'm six foot, so you probably got, what, seven and a half, seven, seven, seven and a half foot high ceilings here. Okay, guys, we're going to push pause again, and we're going to take you upstairs. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. I could not find Josh anywhere, but look where he's at. He's upstairs. Josh, why are you, you up there? You might as well show him what you're... Who do you think is filming? What, what you're looking at, then. <laughs> I'm up here in the loft. Check this out. We got two beds up here, which do stay. These beds are staying. Actually, all the beds in the house are staying, because... We really got this to sleep, what, about 10 to 12, I think she said, something like that. Yeah, so bunch of people. all the beds are staying, so. Fewer if they're budgy like me, more if they're little like you. So. Yeah, you know, if you like to cuddle or not. All right. All right, I am pausing this because I yeah. got to get down. Push pause and get down here so we can show the audience the rest of the house. Oh, okay, we're back again, guys. Hey, this is, now, now we're in the original log home part. So originally this was built as a two-bedroom house. And, of course, as Josh is uh, panning and scanning here, the, the room you'll see. <clears throat> lots of pine, lots of wood, just a really neat, uh, rustic, I mean, it just fits the atmosphere out here on the mountain stuff then. And then, uh, of course, nice big, I don't know if you must hear Josh, this would be where a fridge would go. Sure, and yep, big pantry. Big, big pantry area here. Lot, I mean, honestly, lots of cabinet space here. Dining area, little sitting area here. Um, but yeah, if you want to show them the... That kind of was high there. I'm going to go a little low. Um, so, guys, just about everything in this cabin they are willing to leave behind, except this dining room table does not stay. A uh, couple porch rockers out there aren't staying, and staying. about two other items I'll point okay. out here. But just about everything else they would be willing to leave behind, even the plates and the pots and the pans. Nice. And, yeah, they were... Uh, Do you think they'd leave, like, a... Cheesecake for the reason, or so? you know, I, no, I I think we should put that in their contract. Yeah, I think like that would be good. Should make it. And, and Josh, I guess I'll let you step ahead step. here. So this would have been at one time. This would have been just the main bedroom. Sure, primary you here. Know, yeah, like either kids or guests up there in that loft area you were at. But this is um, on the corner of the house. Of course, so you get the two windows in here. 
closet area. Yeah, say so that is a closet there, closet and then you do have another there. closet here. Yep. So cute size room. And then here, Josh, I'll walk behind you here. So this is definitely the most private uh, bedroom area. So your primary right. bedroom there. Uh, show, show them the bathroom back there then. Because again, guys, we're still in what would have been the original little two bedroom log cabin here. Appliances are staying. Yes, except, except for that washing. white washer and dryer. Yes, oh, man, yes. Josh, look at those two good looking guys. Yeah. There. Oh, wait a minute, that's us in the mirror. I know. A couple boobs. Shower unit. You have a standard here. shower, yeah. So you got the bathroom here. So Josh, it just I think you know I thought you know uh, use the maximum space possible. Lots of storage here, microwave area. And I love that this is open. You know, yeah, you can right, very you can be you know grabbing a meal, working on things, but still talking to people here in the little. But of course, we have that family room downstairs. I guess the people you don't want to talk to, you send them send them downstairs. But then, and I don't know what year the addition was put on. I'm gonna have to do some research for that. But this would have been outside door. So then, Josh, as a matter of fact, I'll just let you step ahead of me here. And don't let me forget to show the porch. We got to show that oh, porch. Yes, it's a yes, very yes, nice, long porch. porch. So if you park out back in the parking area, that is going to be your primary entrance Correct. right there. And then, you know, like Dad said, this is the exterior of the right. original Right, so this would have been the original. See that? You got the large Fireplace here. And... Original outside. That would have been a window, of course. Um, or just a really big hole. Made right yeah, there. I was going to say, not a very good window. It's just a big hole, yeah. But check this porch out here, Josh. And you're right. We got two porches to show them. So this is enclosed. Got the uh, screens in here, keep the bugs and skeeters, skeeters away. But look how just long this is. Yeah, I'll tell you, this is where I'd be spending a lot of time. 16, I mean, just from here down, that's probably almost 20 feet right there. Yeah, and then you still have all this space here then. So I suppose this could maybe be enclosed in throw heat out here if you need a little bit more square footage or if you wanted to come up with another area for bunks or whatnot. I guess it just depends on the family who... But you're sitting out here having your beverage of choice and you're just listening to your little stream here and that's you, right. you can almost hear the spring that's over there and just all nature. If we're, if we're quiet for like five seconds, which I know never happens, you just listen to all that nature. Too quiet for me. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, I, mean, I was going to let it be awkward quiet for as long as you would let it. It is really tranquil. So now, then here is the big sleeping area. Yeah. This now, is... the person who put this on, this was all master bedroom for them or primary bedroom. But of course, the current owner, they wanted more sleeping area, so they added the bed. So what do you got? Two, four, six, eight. You can sleep eight right in here comfortably. And again, all of these beds stay correct. if you would like them to. They, that's, uh, that's correct. Lots of, lots of space here. Because, man, what a pain in the butt to have to put <coughs> all new beds and stuff in here. So and that's... check out this. This really shouldn't even be a, called a bathroom. It should be like a locker room. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at the size of this bad boy. You got a vanity here. Then, Josh, do you even know what this is? Yeah, phone in your bathroom. Yeah, that's for when Bob, Bob Boop falls Let's off the toilet. Close to the. You guys hear that? It actually works. Uh huh. Not yep, to talk exactly. to you about where your <laughs> let you know where your microphone is. Your microphone's down here. Oh, you, you sorry guys. Yeah, you had it on the other. Sorry, that's sorry, right. sorry, I'm sorry. sure they heard it. Double sink. Isn't that a nice size bath? It sure is, and, and this does have the tub. It's in here. We've sold houses with kitchens that don't have this much. Oh, absolutely. I wanted to show this tub because it's got the jets. Oh, hubba bubba tub. Look at that. And that is deep. That is a. That is a good soaker. Yeah, and that's a one piecer, so you don't yep. have to do any grout in there then. That's a, that's a really nice. Of course, you throw the throne there in the back. Yep, it does have a toilet. It Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Can you imagine a bathroom without a toilet? But lots of nice. Shot outside here. Nice space. Again, uh, those same two good looking guys keep falling. And that's the parking area we haven't got to yet, but yeah, we will, we will get you there. We will yeah, show you yeah, that. We'll, we'll show them that. But this, it, again, just, just a nice size bathroom. And I mean, huge, huge bedroom here then. So, oh, Josh, you wanted to show them that porch out here. Yes. Sorry, guys. Because, again, with this being the kind of the scenic part of the house, this, so is, excited to show this them is where that I'd part. be sitting. So, if you guys remember when we crossed that little bridge and um, uh, we were, uh, Dad was still calling the back of the house, but there were some steps. That's that's where you would go here. That's correct. Uh, so, the steps yep. come up. And there's, your little of course, Mount here. Laurel and Rhododendron here kind of look real close to each other. Um, but different times of year, you get different colors of flowers. Just beautiful. And again, just nice. And there's some storage some space above here too. You can show that. Little, little goodies there. Or somebody you don't like, you can just have them sleep up. Yeah, there another sleeping area. Yeah. Let's see if it's. Somebody. And again, these porch rockers are on the list of not staying, not staying. But <sighs> rockers aren't staying. That's all right. Um. So what? Want to take them outside? Yep. Let's okay. take them out. We're gonna push pause. And we're gonna show you outside a little bit. 
Guys, this has been real fun hanging out with you. I know it's a little longer video here, but we're having fun and it's really a cool yeah, place. Yeah, it is a really cool house. A couple things to point out to him here, Josh, the audience is that it's got a newer metal roof. So you got a great roof on here. This is where you can kind of see a little bit better here, Josh, where the original log cabin ties into the addition. They have the Wooder T111 exterior here. This is actually, I'm standing over top of the poopy doopy right here. This is the septic clean out here. That's uh, the septic clean out right there. Okay. And yep. then, uh, that, that over there, Kind of looks like that's a septic lid there, but that actually, um, uh, they used to have a propane stove. So if you'd want to put a propane gas log in that fireplace or whatnot, that's where they had the propane tank sitting Great. at the time. And over here, then that's where that Cross Creek Road is. Of course, down there we got the Springer Corners heading down to Lower Pine Bottom Road. Josh, that... That is the property. And so, that's it. That's yeah, the place. So yeah. I guess you can get a hold of any of us super cool, awesome agents at Century 21 First Choice Realty if you're interested in this property. Our telephone numbers will be at the top and bottom. Josh, you want to give them your number while you're... Yes, yeah, so I'm Josh Boob, and uh, happy to send you any documentation uh, that we have on the place, seller disclosure, maps, things like that. Um, uh, but my number is 570-772-4764. I feel weird talking. When I'm not on camera, okay. I, I should be over here doing this. And Plus, we got a good father son shot here. I don't have yet. that number. He has me blocked, so you guys can call and text I do. him. I'm not allowed to. Please then, don't but... share that number yeah. with him. Yeah, when I tell him, it's uh, 4765. No. Hey, and if you have a house to sell to buy this, or maybe you're, maybe you're not sure how to use the equity in your own home to buy, if you got any financing questions, please reach out. We're really good at that kind of stuff, too. We're not good at much of anything else, but we're actually good at that we are. seen stuff. Yeah, we so. are. And I got to make this pl plug because if you oh. are a buyer who has been looking on the market and you're just getting frustrated with uh, places selling so quick and, you, and you, you feel like you're the last to hear about it, call us. There's there's things that we can do to help your buying experience and mm -hmm. uh, get, get you from uh, missing out on houses to finally getting one locked up because I know some of you are frustrated out there. And I get it. I yep. totally get it. Get a so. hold of us. We'll show you how to give it a little bit of an edge there. All right. Shameless plug. So we should go buy? <laughs> yes. Right. And, every, and everybody, uh, this is prior to July 4th, um, but have a great 4th. And uh, uh, if you would like to take a tour, please reach out to us. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>